One of the stated goals for this program was to bring new Canadians out and get them a really immersive nature experience without exposing them to some really harsh elements. So with being able to have them stay in the Shiner Creek Hostel has been amazing. And then we can bring them outside, they can have a safe interactive experience in the wild, in a natural environment, and really get a feel for what it means to be outdoors and what it really means to experience nature. And I think to that end, this has been tremendously successful. Um, we've had lots of positive comments and, uh, you know, even things like last night when um, uh, Johan from Argentina, or Colombia, I should say, when Johan from Colombia looked through a telescope the first time and he, and he looked at the moon and all he said was, whoa, that was pretty impressive. And he was one of those moments where you really make a difference really make an impact on somebody. And we've really heard that a lot today as well. We've heard lots of sort of squeals of joy of people outside, people having a really good time, people seeing things that they've never seen before, and uh, people really getting appreciation for how vast and how wild this land is, and really getting an appreciation for how accessible it is as well. You know, these are people who are new to the country, who live in an urban environment in Red Deer, and here they are, they're three hours away from home, if that, not even, they're, they're, they're two hours away from home, uh, their new home, and uh, completely immersed in a, in a natural space uh, without the benefit of technology and screens, and especially for the kids, it's just been a, a tremendous experience for them. So this is something that I think we would want to do again, and we really can't say enough about the support that we got for this project, um, the Nature Center and CARE, uh, really we couldn't have done this without the help of, of Alberta Parks with Graham Thirstfield and Kevin Cantillon, with Hostling International from Katie, Warbeck and Mackenzie, and uh, the crew at Hostling International, and uh, without the funding from the Rotary Club of Red Deer East and Rotary District 53. This has truly been, uh, I think, a transformative experience for some of these folks uh, and for the interpreters that have been involved in it. So. We're going to let these guys explore a little more. We'll go try to peek in on some of the caches. And uh, we're getting into noon, so I think the next thing that will be coming along is lunchtime. And um, after lunch, we might go for a little hike. Uh, they'll get some communal work to do because we've got to clean the hostel and get it all tidied up so it's ready to go for the next group coming in. And then on the bus at 3 and home around 5, 36 o'clock. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the pictures and the video essays and uh, we'll keep you informed with the next sort of bunch of these projects that we do. So thanks for watching.